Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 9, the final episode of Battleships. In this episode, I want to evaluate our program, talk about what I like about it, what I think could be improved, and some of the principles that I think were important for developing it. Before that though, I wanted for this final whilst we were, uh, episode, whilst we were talking, to have a little game from some AIs playing uh, in the background over here. But then the problem is, when when we run it, it just finishes instantly. It just goes too quickly. So what I want to do is add in an AI which sleeps a bit in between each move. And one way we could do that is just add in a little sleep into the get random AI um, function. Or we could make a random AI function that a separate one that has a sleep inside it and waits for a second or two in between each move. However, I think the absolute most best way of doing this, and also quite an interesting um, programming concept, is the following. We're going to make a function called random sleepy AI. And that's going to pass, we're going to pass into that a sleep time, which is going to be in seconds. And this function is not going to return, it's not going to be like these other AI functions, it's not going to return a coordinate. Instead, this function is going to return another function. And what I mean by that is we make inside this function, this is all a bit wild, so don't worry if this doesn't make too much sense. We're going to define another function, which we'll just call f, and then we will return that function again not the result of evaluating this function, but the function itself. And then inside this function, we will sleep for however long the sleep time is. Can't actually remember how to sleep in Python. So let's have a little look. Time.sleep, you say. Does it want seconds? Yes, seconds, not milliseconds. So this should be time.sleep, and we will have to import time in order to be able to use it. And the way, so this function that it returns, it takes a game board, it sleeps for a period of time, and then it returns the result of our previous random AI. So the way we can use this is when we're making Rob and Alice, we can say they should use a random sleepy AI with a sleep period of a second, I think, should do it. Let's see, how many squares? There's a hundred, oh no, seconds probably not enough. Let's say two seconds. That should give me enough time to go over everything. And so now, when we run this, it says, Rob, your turn. It sleeps for a few seconds. Alice, your turn. And this is nice because we can easily uh, change this if we want to change the amount of time that the function sleeps for. If we want it to be really cool, this is really going a bit mad now, we could say that we'll make another function where you give us an AI function and a sleep time, and then this can turn any AI function, not just the random function, into a sleepy, t uh, sleepy AI. We'll do exactly the same thing. In fact, we can just even copy it over. And then instead of returning the get random AI shot, we just return whatever AI function we were given. So now, in fact, the random sleepy AI, again, really do not worry if this is starting to get all a bit much. We can construct it using our general sleepy AI function like this. And then I'm pretty sure this will work. Oh, they're getting on pretty quick, aren't they? I'm going to have to make them go slightly slower. Two and a half seconds. And let's make sure this still works. Spectacular. So that, I promise, is the final code that we're going to write on this. I've written a few 
uh, notes to myself about what I thought was good and bad. Or not bad, what could maybe be improved. I think the good part, or a good part, is we have some nice separation between our components, as I've said several times. We've got the game board, that's responsible for keeping track of the board and for updating it if a shot gets taken. We've got our shot, that's very simple. We've got our battleship, that keeps track of the body and the health of the battleship, how many times it's been hit. And it has these nice little helper methods where a battleship is able to tell the rest of a program about itself. We have um, the render functions that are just responsible for rendering. We have the announce functions that are just responsible for announcing. I also think this little interface, I like this AI thing we've got going on here where we haven't had to do, I mean, AI puts you in the mind of sort of very fancy um, logic and there can certainly be some fancy logic in here if you if you wanted to. But fundamentally, we've made it easy for ourselves by just masking how complex or not complex our AI is behind this consistent interface. And by interface, I mean the fact that any AI function or indeed the human shot function takes a game board does some stuff, we really do not care what stuff it does, and then it returns uh, a location that it would like to shoot at. And similarly, all of these injectable functions, so the, the way you can change the way the announcement works or the rendering works, that's cool. Um, because And the way we're able to do that is because we've again specified an interface for these announcement functions. We're saying, I will give you an event type and some metadata, you print it somehow, I don't care how. And with rendering, I'll give you a game board and I guess some other flags. You figure out what to do with it. The rest of the program does not care. And I quite like that as an approach. To be improved, things I'm still not quite sure about is how to best to specify the location and properties of a battleship. There's this tension between wanting to specify it in this way, this quite compact head length direction approach, versus it actually being quite useful to not, to have a list of the explicit um, coordinates of each body piece. And also, if you remember, for the render function, uh, if we wanted to print it out using um, angle brackets or whatever, then we needed to still know what direction it was traveling in. So I think this is certainly good enough for our purposes. If we were making this bigger and more complex, I'd probably want to work out exactly what we wanted to do here. Somewhat similarly, I'm not sure about the quite the correct relationship between a game board and a player. Should the player um, object have a game board passed into it? Um, should a game board have a player passed into it? Is this way we've got it going right now the best? Honestly, right now it doesn't matter. And I think that means that it really, really does not matter. And that maybe the best choice will be revealed to us if we made our, function, our program bigger. We might see, oh, actually, in order to implement this particular piece of functionality, it gets much easier if I pass a player into a game board or vice versa, or I deal with them in some other way. We're actually missing the final thing on my to be improved. We're missing quite a lot of error validation and error validation isn't always particularly fun, but it is important. So we don't check to see whether we try and shoot in the same place we've already shot. We don't try and check whether a battleship is has gone off the edge of the map or anything like that. Um, it's fine for us because uh, we trust ourselves not to do anything silly. But again, given more time and if we're making the program bigger, we would want to do more validation. We can also talk a bit about the process that went into um, making this program. I think it's really important to start simple. Um, you might remember we started with just this this input thing and we just made sure this worked we debugged it and got it working we didn't worry about get doing everything at once we then built a program for a while that didn't know anything about battleships it certainly didn't know anything about what it meant for a battleship to be destroyed or anything like that you just add on start simple and add on layers one at a time we also didn't write code to solve problems that we didn't have yet um, we just tried to solve the problem that was in front of us and add the extra feature that was in front of us. We've thought quite a lot about what part each of our code was responsible for. So I've said this several times, render just renders, game board just keeps track of the game board, announcer just announces. And then where possible, 
we don't want to blur the lines um, between these two things or between these multiple things. Sometimes it's expedient or just um, tidier to blur the lines. As I've mentioned, technically game board is responsible both for keeping track of the game board and for updating it. There's nothing terribly wrong without that, but about that, but you could argue that those pieces of functionality should be split up. And finally, whenever you're making these decisions, don't try and be too clever. So leave yourself the flexibility to change your mind. Because if you try and do something um, really intricate and fancy, often you'll end up boxing yourself into a corner. You might have thought that your program worked in a particular way or that you would need to structure it in a particular way, but you just didn't know. You just made it, you made a choice and it was hard to back out of later. So wherever possible, leave yourself the flexibility um, to change your mind. So that's it for Battleships. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I would love to hear any, any feedback you have. And as I mentioned uh, in previous episodes, download the code from GitHub. I'll put a link in the comment section and try and add some of these new features. Uh, I think it'd be great to add uh, a clever AI that tries to be smart and shoot near battleships that it knows are there. Or maybe add this way for players for human players to secretly specify their um, battleship positions rather than just having it hard coded in. I would say let's wait for the um, for the rest of this battleships game to play out, but I think it's going to take several minutes. So let's just assume that I won. I doubt Alice would have won. That seems unlikely. Thanks for watching.